reasonably in timing after a 500 hour Magneto inspection. This is the final video in a series that demonstrates a complete 500 hour Magneto inspection. Rotor assembly is the first step. Install the gear onto the rotor using a press fit. The gear is clocked in place using a woodruff key. The bearing races will then be pressed on, followed by the cam. The direction of Magneto rotation determines the direction in which the cam is attached on the end of the rotor. The cam is then retained using a one-time use specialty screw that is torqued to 25 to 30 inch pounds. Coil installation. The coil is attached using two clamps that are screwed down. The ground lead from this coil must be attached to one of the screws. The torque on these screws is 20 to 30 inch pounds. Distributor block installation. A felt strip is first installed on the back side of the distributor block. A felt washer is then installed on the front. Prior to installing, a felt washer receives a light coating of oil. The distributor block is then retained in the housing. The block is retained using three screws that are torqued to 16 to 20 inch pounds. Gear installation. The gear requires washers to be placed between it and the distributor block. A number two snap ring is then installed, holding the distributor in place. Security of the carbon brush is then inspected. Distributor to rotor timing. You start by placing the rotor in the neutral position with the chamfered tooth facing the coil. You line up the red dot on the distributor and mesh the gears with the red dot directly on the chamfered tooth, closing the two halves of the magneto at the same time. When the two halves are closed, the red chamfered tooth on the distributor should be visible in the vent window. The final step is point gap timing. For this you will need a buzz box, a magneto pointer tool, a set of feeler gauges. You first attach the buzz box to ground and the points terminal. Place the pointer tool on the magneto and zero it in the neutral position. Advance the magneto 12 degrees in the direction of rotation. Then tighten the points. Ensure the gap is between 12 thousandths and 24 thousandths using the feeler gauge and the points open between 6 degrees and 14 degrees of U gap timing. This is checked using the buzz box. So I'll set it where I want it. I want it at about 12. That seems to work pretty good as far as the point clearance. seats breaking at 12 degrees. The final step is to connect the leads and install the points cover. This completes my videos covering the topic of a Magneto 500 hour inspection.